Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to add SMS form collector on password page on Shopify. The first thing you want to do once on your Shopify admin page is go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to select add apps. After selecting add apps, I want you to select Shopify app store and you are going to be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you are going to tap on the search bar at the top and you are going to type in SMS marketing. After typing in SMS marketing, there are numerous apps that you can choose from. And the one that I would recommend that you use for this example is Yacht Pro. So you're going to select Yacht Pro and you can install this app for completely free as you can see right there. And with their free plan, you'll get your first 10,000 emails for completely free and also SMS at a very affordable price. So you're going to tap on install. Once you have tapped on install, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll be prompted to enter your phone number since are the phone number that you're going to be using since this is an SMS tutorial and you're going to select SMS. After you have done that, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select audience. After selecting audience, you're going to automatically be redirected to the subscriber collection tools page and you're going to scroll down and you're going to tap on show all tools. After selecting show all tools, you're going to scroll down a bit. Then from there, you can see the option embedded form. That is what we want to use. So you're going to select set up. After selecting set up, you can go over to the left hand menu option and from here you can further edit it. So for example, you can tap on text and you can edit the text right here. You can also edit the color of the text and the text box. You can also tap on country field and you can remove the country field or you can leave it as is or you could make it mandatory by simply tapping right here where you see mandatory. So that means that they would have to fill out that section. And you can also tap on phone field right here. After selecting phone field from there, you could change the color, the field color and so on. You can also preview how it would look on a tablet and you can also preview how it will look on a mobile device. Once you're finished doing this, you're going to tap on next. And from here, you can see the form background. You could change the form background and you can also see how the success page will look. And if it is a case that you would like to edit the text on the success page, you can tap on text from the left hand menu option and then you could edit the text box right here. So you can either type in more text or you can change the text overall that is currently there. So again, you can edit step one and so on. And if you'd like to add additional fields, you can tap on add additional fields from the bottom left hand corner. And from there, you could add additional fields as you can see right here. If we were to go back to this version and tap on add additional fields, if we were on the paid plan, you'll be able to do it. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner. Then you'll tap on publish once more. After you have tapped on publish, you can see it is saying saving. So once it is published, you'll be redirected to this page. And then I want you to go back into your Shopify store. Once on your Shopify store, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select online store. After selecting online store, you're going to tap on customize in line with the theme that you're using. And you're going to be redirected to the editor page. On the editor page from the top navigation bar, you're going to tap where you see home page and you're going to select password. After selecting password, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and tap on add section. And you're going to scroll down. And from there, you're going to see the option SMS bump embedded form. If you don't see the embedded form option right there, what I recommend that you do is tap on password footer. So you're just going to tap on password footer. Then you're just going to tap on add section once more and you're going to see it pop up. Once it pop up, you can tap on it. After you have tapped on it, all you'll need to do now 
you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner so you can see the first time when we tap on it it is not visible it is saying that you'll need to save it so you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner after you have tapped on save you can see that the form pops up right there now you could move it into whatever position you want all you'll need to do is simply tap on the six dots from the left hand menu option and then from there you could pull it to the top if you want right there you can place it wherever you want on the page then you will tap on save in the top right hand corner once more and that's it you can see how it looks right there hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching